Cause I knew you were trouble when you walked in So shame on me now Me to places I've never been Trouble, trouble, trouble. Hey guys, Kellen Chinito here, and I just wanted to give you a quick update what's going on in my life, and also show you this incredible Yogurtland creation that my me and my cousin stumbled across that these people are making, and that'll be uh, later in the video. So, I ordered the mystery t shirt and shorts off the Andrew Christian model website and they totally gave me a crop top and culottes. I'm like, seriously? So these are the mystery items that they sent me in mail. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And I don't know why there's like, uh, like kangaroo pouch on this thing. I don't think it will even like hold my like wallet. And keys and stuff I've put in here. I'm gonna try this. Can okay, I test out this kangaroo pouch? Put my keys, my phone, my wallet. Oh, oh, it's actually pretty sturdy. I'm surprised for like a little mesh thing. Okay, imagine if I show up on a first date dressed like this. Hi, I'm Chinto. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Oh, so they actually sent me the wrong size on one of my shirts and one of the shorts that I ordered. I contacted customer service to send me another shirt and shorts, and ironically, the new sh mystery shirt they sent me was also a crop top. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. <clears throat> oh, and so I've also been addicted to this... Portuguese telenovela. It came out last year. I think there's like 38 episodes total. And oh my god. It's so addicting. I actually started watching it from like the middle of the show and I finished like the, so the last half of it. So I'm actually watching it from the beginning so I actually understand what's going on. <clears throat> I And I think this sh and if you can translate the show uh, from, uh, Portuguese to English, I think it translates to, uh, A Kiss of the Scorpion? I'm actually not sure. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And, oh my god, the men are gorgeous. And so, if you just, like, type in, uh, Paulo Y Miguel into, uh, YouTube, it should pop up. I'm like, I'm thinking, do all the men over there look like that? Because if they do, I'm going to jump on a plane, like, right now. Like, I'm already there. Like, I'm waiting th I'm waiting for you guys there. Oh. Bobby, take me with you. Take me with you. Bobby, take me with you. Take me with you. Mm. Mm. Are you seeing this? Oh, my God. The actor who plays Paolo. Oh my god. My parent. Oh. You probably cannot. <laughs> so, can you hear me now? And then the actor who plays Miguel. He's, he's really cute too. And apparently, he plays another gay character on a different telenovela over there too. I'm, I, like, I'm a, like, uh, so addicting. Like, uh, I've been, been watching it every night instead of sleeping. That's why I haven't been on Twitter that much either. In case you guys are wondering. Happy, take me way too. <laughs>
So if you follow me on Twitter, you know I've been like currently obsessed with finding travel size games to fill up my uh, entertainment box for future g boring family get-togethers. So I think it's finally complete. I'm gonna show you guys right now. I've got travel size trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Got travel size clue. Got uh, the game of things. I actually suggested playing this, and I told my cousin, "Yeah, you write down your answers." Then you're supposed to guess who said what, and my cousin was like, oh, "You have to write things out and then to guess. It sounds so hard. I don't want to play it." So we went back to playing cards against humanity. Then have Spot it. Uh, Spot it's a, it's a, it's like the game Picture Rica. If you never played Picture Rica, it's it's like a faster version. Of it, except on this one, there's only one matching picture between any two cards, and the picture can either be big or smaller, but everything else is the same. The colors and everything. It's actually a really good game. You know, your younger cousins really addicted to this game. They're actually really good at it too. I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting too old. My eyes aren't as good as they used to be. Then I got uh, these Find It games. There's a list of items you're supposed to find in these. And you can either like do it like, timed, or s and see who does it the fastest, or see who can like find the most in like 20 minutes. So far, I haven't been able to find the penny. There's supposed to be a penny in here, but I don't know. I'll probably just look it up on YouTube later <laughs> and see how to find the penny. Because I heard apparently there's like, a specific way you're supposed to like shake this or something to find the penny. I actually bought two of these, the Pet Finder and Things That Go. These also come in a bigger version. I can only find the travel versions online. They, only, they sell the regular versions at, Tar um, I think it's Barnes & Nobles and Toys R Us. Okay then, they only sell this one online and at Barnes & Nobles, it's called Word Around. All the cards have words that surround a circular cards, and you're supposed to read out the what the word is, but you don't know wh where the word starts and where it ends. So the words can either go clockwise or counterclockwise. Then the person to read it read out the correct read the word out correctly, they they take the card and turn it over, and then either on the the colors either black red or blue, and then all the other players read that color on the next card. And then you've seen some of these before, have a uh, deck of cards, have travel size Simon, have Uno, one of my favorite games, I gotta play forever. And then I have uh, travel size Bobbit. <coughs> <laughs> yes, I've been like obsessing over travel size games for like the last couple weeks. I've been like looking it up. I'm in downtown at work. I uh, like. <laughs> I think I think I have a serious problem. So if you have any uh, other suggestions for travel size toys, let me know in the comments below or on Twitter. Clanchinito. Okay, so now for the moment you all been waiting for the crazy creation we saw at Yogurtland. So. Uh, on last Saturday, I took my parents up to Rosemead for this uh, Buddhist relic that they were having at the temple up there. And me and my cousins, we decided to go to Yogurtland after dinner, and that yog the Yogurtland up there is really bougie because they had a co they, were, they had cookies on sale there, and I've never seen any cookies here, uh, any of the Yogurtlands here in Orange County. And there was literally a group of people they were creating. This um, yogurt looked like looked like an ice cream sundae just for Instagram, and it was like this tall. I actually rec had recorded footage of it on my phone while they were making it, and the price came out to like thirty dollars, which is ridiculous. But I accidentally pushed the wrong button on my phone, so I actually deleted that. So I ended up recording another video. Uh, it happens to me every time. I always push the wrong button. 
it's funny because we were sitting next to them as they were eating this their crazy creation, and they're like they're eating and they're like, oh, it tastes pretty good. Then like halfway through, they're like, oh, it tastes really gross. So yeah, moral of the story is if you're making any food items for Instagram, be prepared to suffer the consequences. Okay, so for the do, I'm gonna show you what I recorded. Isn't that crazy? Like, we kept waiting for them to drop it, or something, because they're, they're like, we kept thinking they're, oh, they're, oh, they're not going to add enough layers, they kept adding more and more layers, and it was like, literally like this tall. Oh my god, $30, it's ridiculous. The things people will do for Instagram. Oh, and I forgot to mention to you guys that uh, for these Find It games, they actually don't come with the scratch pads. They only list they list the items on top, but they don't come with the scratch pads that list the item have that's the list of the items. You actually have to go on, on the website and print them out, which I think is ridiculous, because if I'm paying for something you'd think they would they would provide at least like a little packet of scratch pads or something. And they actually don't provide any pictures of what the items look like. So like sometimes you'd be looking at this item in the hair and be like, uh, what is that? Is that like a manual cover? What is that? Oh, and I got to what ninety two on um, on this mini bobbit thing. In case in case for all these are wa watching um that mini bobbit challenge a couple videos back. And, uh, the highest score is a hundred. You know, the highest can go up to is a hundred. Of course, now it's not telling you the high score. <laughs> it sucks because because once the batteries die in this, it erases your high score on here. So like all all your hard work will be for nothing. Solo. Bop it to start. High score nine T two. Oh, you're supposed to push it. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I remember my first time playing Bop It. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe Bop and to start. shut up. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to sleep. Like and comment below and follow me on Twitter. I kind of changed though. And sorry, the video quality is kind of bad in this video. I don't know why, but. My video editor, editor, when it merges videos together, it lowers resolution, and I don't know how to make it not do that. Like, I've tried, like, uh, changing the resolution, and then merging it, but then it doesn't work. Like, it won't merge the videos together, which is really weird, I don't know. I should probably just bust out the money for a better video editor. So yeah, bye! What the hell is a kibble? Can you even tell me? K I B B L E? What kind of pet is that? Is this like some weird exotic pet I don't know about? So you see, where the hell is this penny? The hell is that? It looks like a cauldron. Oh, it must be the bowl. I swear there's no penny in here. <laughs> uh.